I'll get better view. Obviously, I'm not gonna go underneath. I don't even know if I'm supposed to be this close. Big Lakes box car number 42. There's some uh, metal ladder there. I wouldn't mind going up there, but there's signs that say keep off the equipment. Obviously, I don't want any wear and tear to make it worse. Wow, the snow here is at least a foot deep. Huh, there's wheels underneath this thing too, for something. Oh, I think this is for like a steel belt. Yeah, but here's some more wheels. And then there's like a drive sprocket or whatever you call it. Wow, I'm gonna pan up just a second because this thing, whatever it is, is at least 30 feet tall. Nice big crane or something. Wow, here's a rail car. It looks like a logging car with the side thingies removed. There's a thing for hand brakes, but it looks like they also got a thing for air brakes. I'm not an expert at railroad brakes, but anyway, there's something equivalent. Okay, I'm gonna go over here because there's some more big equipment I see. Whoa. Some big holes to fall in around here. Man, look at the size of this crane. I like how all the gears are exposed and stuff so you can see how it works. Instead of covered away safely behind guards of modern equipment. Tracked vehicle. Nice big radiator. Jeez. That horrible noise, that's a semi carrying alfalfa northbound. There's a nice big truck, some sort of truck with a crane on the back. Yeah, I have no idea where the trail is. I hardly even see any footprints. Survival of the fittest, modern logging. Lots of wheels, two, four, six, eight, ten. One of it's ten wheel drive. All these are related to logging, like logging vehicles. So this isn't just some, you know, encompassing history museum. Okay, I'm gonna not go over there. I just wanna come up here, see if there's a trail here. Cause I see this rail vehicle. See it's got wheels and it's even on rails. That's kind of neat. Looks like it's falling apart. Mostly made of wood, but it's got some steel. In fact, it looks like it's actually made of rails. How's that work? Cannibalism. <laughs> all right. So yeah, there's another wheel for something. I don't know how all this works, but it looks really cool. And some sort of crane. And there's wheels up there. I'm gonna go back this way. This is the way back to the parking lot. I think I've seen pretty much everything I need to see. Got to head on sometime. So you see how this is on wheels. This is a, some sort of flatbed vehicle. There's also wheels up there. Sprocket. See, there's even a chain. Definitely have to come back this summer and find out which of it still works, which of it still runs, what it all does, etc. Please stay off equipment. Too bad. Check out these stairs. I could totally go up there. It'd be lots of fun if we were allowed to play around on the equipment. I'd probably stay all day if I was allowed to do that. There's some big drum up there, I'm assuming that's full of fuel or water or something. It's just steam powered. Some icicles hanging there. Probably won't see that in the summer. And then there's the rest of this car is falling apart. Well, I see uh, footprints going this way. I guess I'll go down this way, follow the crowd. <laughs> Pretty big crowd. Survival of the fittest. I think this is why I just came. Oh yeah, there's a boat. Cool. Let's see what a boat has to do with logging. Looks like it's made of wood, so maybe it's an honorary logging thing. I'll just follow these other footprints. Not too many animal tracks here. They do allow pets here, so I'm not sure if we're looking at a you know, somebody's dog prints or cougar prints or what? Wide load. Some sort of crane. Tire based. Nice big crane. 
So here's a boat up on blocks. This is a propeller, small rudder. A little smaller than Titanic. See if I can hold my camera up high enough to look inside. Actually, as long as I'm down here. Yeah, there's the propeller. Just one. Nice old fashioned car or boat. Huh, I was expecting it to be hollow. I wonder what's inside there. Keep off, obviously. Yeah, there's a nice ladder to go up on top. Wow. I said this place would be awesome if we were allowed to climb around, play a monkey. Oh well, it's pretty nice anyway, the way it is. Alright. It's a little bit steep here. I'm gonna be careful not to fall down on the snow. Oh, I think I'm kind of back where I was. There's the gift shop, I think. No, the gift shop's over there. So I wasn't over there yet. I guess I can check that out real quick. Make sure I don't miss anything important. Huh. Oh, wow. Huh. I'm not sure if I'm supposed to be back here or not, but... There's a some sort of rail car here. Obviously there's wheels down there. Coupler. Holy cow, I think this might be a steam engine. Holy cow, that is a steam engine. So there's the wheels down there. There's a where the boiler would be, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. Wonder if I can without going off trail see what I'm looking at here. There's a way to take a look. I'm not even sure if I'm supposed to be here or not. So, Baldwin Locomotive, Burnham Perry Williamson Company, number 7372, 1884, Philadelphia. Holy cow. This is 2017. So that thing's like 140 years old. Man, I gotta come back in the summer, ask if it still works. Fire it up, man, let's do it. I wonder if it's even oil powered or if it's powered by wood. This is a cool looking barn or whatever you call this thing. It's like a barn with no walls, but it gets a bit breezy in the winter. <laughs> More of these vehicles, wheels. I think I came through here already, didn't I? So I was commenting about the wheels, wooden wheels with steel rims. Jeez, look at the size of these wheels. They're probably at least eight feet tall, maybe nine or ten. Maybe I'll come back with a tape measure this summer. <laughs> look at that, there's actually ice all the way from the boiler down to the flat part, frame, whatever you call it. Yeah, I need to come back with a dictionary too, so I know what I'm talking about. Man, this thing looks like a big cannon or something. It's kind of creepy. <laughs> so that's a trailer, and this is a little bulldozer type device, tracked vehicle that tows it around. Man, I really want to know how much of this stuff still runs. Here's some sort of weird. I'm assuming that it would pick stuff up, drag it around.